In this last video, we're going to look at how do you do unit conversion for speed and density. Now, when you're required to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second, there's actually a shortcut. And if you can memorize, that is to basically divide by 3.6. And if you're going to convert from meter per second to kilometer per hour, the shortcut will be times 3.6 and you'll get the answer immediately. But if what if you have forgotten whether is it times or divide or is it 3.6 or 3.4 so i will need you to fall back to this method because this is something that you have learned and you can always use this method even though it's a bit more tedious so let's start with the basic that you have learned 90 km per hour basically means 90 km over one hour so you going to do the unit conversion for the numerator to change it to meters from kilometer to to meter is a big to small so times three zero so you add three more zeros here and it becomes meter and one hour you need to change to seconds as you know is times 60 times 60 or basically is times 3600 and then it, there will be seconds and you use your calculator and that will be 25 meter per second so you have the answer okay so if you have forgotten that is divided by 3.6 at least you know how to use this method to find let's do the second question where it's 10 meter per second you're going to convert it to kilometer per hour so likewise it means 10 meter in one second so the numerator from meter i want to change to kilometer it's a small to big units i divide by 1000 divided by three zero so it's 0 0.010 kilometer and one second and you need to change it to one hour okay so it's basically three divided by one divided by three six zero zero of an hour okay so if you know your basic math basically is 0 0.010 times 3600 and then you use your calculator and you will know that the answer will be 36 kilometer per hour okay how about density density there's also a shortcut if you can remember or memorize that that will be good when you're converting gram per cm cube to kilogram per meter cube what you need to do is just times 1000 okay and of course if it's the other way you just need to divide by 1000 but having said that chances are sometimes you might forget so what what do you do likewise fall back on this similar techniques so this is 1.2 gram in one cm cube of space here so i will convert the numerator to kilogram small to big divide by 1000 0 0.0012 kilogram okay next one cm cube you're supposed to convert it to meter cube and we have touched on this in a previous video so you basically divide by 100 cube so one two three four five six so after the decimal place there will be one two three four five zero point one two three four five one okay so just make sure you don't make careless mistake here and you use your calculator to key in the value and you'll get 1200 kilogram per meter cube so basically that's why i say it's times 1000 and for kilogram per meter cube to gram per cm cube okay you have forgotten is divide by 1000 and you want to double check so it will be 13600 kilogram in one meter cube of space so the numerator i will need to change kg to gram so times 1000 i'll add three more zeros and for one meter cube change to cm cube you have learned previously basically is times 100 cube so it's one followed by six zeros okay so you use your calculator and you, or you cancel basically it's just divide by 1000 and the answer will be 13.6 gram per cm cube so that's how you do your unit conversion for speed and density if you have you cannot memorize 
always fall back on this method.